Welcome. My name is George Pearson, and I run the How To Gurus channel here on YouTube. Most of the videos in my channel are short demonstrations of the different tools and techniques you'll find in various software programs. Right now, I have several hundred of these quick videos available on YouTube. This video, though, is different. This is part of a new series of longer demonstrations that I'm doing to show you how to complete complex projects from start to finish using a variety of techniques and tools. All of the images I use in these projects are in the public domain and I've included a link to the pictures in the video description in case you want to work along using the same images. Okay, let's move on to the project. In this special Photoshop Elements projects demonstration here we're going to be doing some cleanup on this image. Now there's a lot of little problems on this. But I think we can clean all of this stuff out. Let's have this fishing line here. We can lose a fishing line. A few smudges in the face. No real big deal there. This boot over here. Some hair or something. I don't know what that is down there. Maybe there's a dog sitting there. A little toe over here. And then this chair in the background. Some of these are pretty easy. That chair is a little trickier. So let's go ahead and approach this. The thing here is to do everything just one at a time. Just take your time. Do one at a time. And work in slowly. We'll start off with that toe, that's the easiest of all these. So I always like to get the easy stuff out of the way fast and first. There we go. We'll be using the clone stamp tool on pretty much everything in here. You can bring that size down a bit. That's pretty good. Make sure you're working with a soft brush. Get down to your soft brushes down here. So I think 45 right there is a pretty good sitting 45 soft brush. Mode is normal and don't to worry about anything else in here. And align is good. Now before we start I want to make a copy of this layer. So I'll drag that up here to our new layer button. Hide that. That way I can always go back to my original if I mess things up. So I always have my protection layer in there. Okay, background copy. And let's start with this toe. This one's easy. Just, just come out here someplace, hold down the Alt key and click, and then drag it over. Just make sure you kind of line up the grain in there. And there it is. So, again, toe is easy. No big deal on that one. We'll get rid of that. Let's go to the left hand side here. And down we have this stuff, which I think is possibly the hind end of a dog down there. Now on this, I can copy some of this up here and bring that in. We should be okay. So I'm going to choose a spot here in the middle. Alt-click and come down. Now the problem when you're working on something like this, as you can see here, is that we may not have perfectly matching values. And we can't go real far because we run into other stuff. So I'm just going to copy there. And notice what I did there. I actually lined up the lines in here. You lined up the grain. So I'll, I'll choose right there. I'll click. Come down. You can see the, the lining of the grain there. Make sure you line your grain up if you do this because that'll be a dead giveaway if the grain's not lined up. Let's copy from up here now. And I'll come down a couple of spots. Again, try to line up that grain. And it's just going to be a matter of going back and forth until we get that totally taken out. Now right here, there's a little bit of something. I don't know what that is. It looks like, like somebody's leg, possibly. Let's make a little selection around that just to protect that so we don't accidentally mess up that edge. So I'll grab the polygonal lasso tool right there. And I'm just going to come around and do a little selection just outside of that and then if we scroll over I'm staying outside you can actually click outside with that that's pretty good let's now add to that click on the add button there we are and I'm going to just do a bit section like this and come back around to the beginning, add that in. So now we can work in here and we're not going to be hitting anything else. It's just 
a little bit of protection against that edge. Okay, so we can just finish this off. I'll grab up here and let's pull that down a little bit. That's okay. Grain matches up nicely and I'll grab from here. We'll come down again matching that grain. That's the the real trick here. Now once you have this done you will see some repeating stuff going on. Luckily repeating patterns are okay on things like wood grain. People really won't be paying any attention to that. So I think we're all, all right there. Let's just deselect that. All right, moving over to our next problem area, and that was the left-hand side. We had this boot over here. This is trickier because we have real distinct lines in here, these things. We're going to have to copy those lines over and be careful about those particular lines. That's where you need to be just, you know, paying, some, paying attention on this one. Okay, again, clone stamp tool. I'll click right in the line this time, like that. Pull the line over and make sure you line that up exactly right. And we're going to be doing just a little bit at a time in here, not too much. Notice I'm not going up onto the second line. I'll do that on its own path. So let's go up here now, click in the middle of the line, bring that over, make sure you line that line up exactly because that's going to be the telltale part. That's going to give it away if you don't have it lined up perfectly. I'll do about half of that. I'll leave the bottom half come down here again. Click in that, match my line up, and then let's do the bottom half of that. Same thing up here. I'm going to grab from over in here somewhere. Click, line that up so it lines up perfectly, and let's just bring that in and clean that out. Now, a little tricky right here. We have some things going on now. This little bit of, of blue jeans there, that's easy. I'm just going to grab the edge here of this railing, pull that edge up, and then just take that out. Nothing to that one. Down here, though, I want to have a nice clean edge on that. Two ways of doing that. One, I can just go over here and copy from here and put this right there. It might be the easiest way. I'm just going to grab that edge right there. Alt-click, pull that down line up that edge with the board and then just pull up like that. So that gives us that nice little edge right there. Okay, so far so good. While we're zoomed in, let's take care of some of this stuff. Now my brush is too large for the area in here, so let's decrease our brush size a bit. We're at 45 soft. Let's bring it down to a 27, about half as big soft. That should do. And I'm going to grab from this side over here and go over to that side. So I'll click and let's just come in and carefully lose that line. Same thing here. We need to match up our lines. And I'm just going to tap on this. So I'll click, match my lines up, and then just a tap. There we go, so that lines up. Looks pretty good. Real tricky on this face right there. I need to find us exactly the right spot and see if I can get that to match. There we go. Again, just, just clicking in there to get that to line up. The hard part there, of course, is just getting that edge to be perfect. Now the cheek is difficult, of course, because there's a shading difference going on. So you almost have to kind of just fake it a little bit in here. And there's not too bad. And I think I think we got away with that. Real tricky on the eye up here. If I copy from here and move over just a little bit. I may want to come down a lot smaller on my brush size in here to do this. I may be still too large on the brush size. Sometimes you have to get real small on these things. So we're at a 27. Let's cut that in half. Come down to a 13. 
Here we go. And I'm going to come right against the edge of that eyelash. There, that's it. And again, ma matching carefully the creases and folds in the skin. Possibly the trickiest part in here. The reason for that, of course, is that people are very good at recognizing what faces should look like. So if you make any mistake in here, it's going to be very apparent. I guess the top of the picture, actually. Okay, just a little bit of cleanup. on uh, some of these blemishes here. Very, very small adjustments. I'm just, just grabbing and just doing one tap. That went too far on that one. Let's undo that. Okay, see if we can get this last little bit done here. I think that looks pretty good. All right, let's now look at the final section, and that is this chair. So I'm going to zoom out. Let's just do it this way. You can see what we're doing. Zoom out. There it goes. Have that chair to worry about. Same thing. We're going to be copying from here and moving over to there. But I want to make sure that I don't get into the child here. So let's make a selection around this, just leaving this area open. Again, clone stamp tool. And they'll be using the polygonal lasso tool for our selection. I'm going to zoom in to make the selection, and then we'll zoom out again to do the clone stamping. I want to make this sure this selection is just exactly right. I want to get just about halfway into where the edge is getting soft on this. And as you move up to that edge, the window is going to automatically scroll for you. So it's, it does a little bit of the work for you there. Again, the trick here is to take your time. Don't rush this at all. And then you should be okay. The problem with these lasso tools if you work too quickly and you click too fast it's going to try to close the selection and you may not get the shape that you're expecting okay we're almost there again just being very careful on this edge and that's the top of the picture so now I come way over here. I'm actually going to scroll out to the side. I'll stay outside of the picture. You can, you can see that right there. Scroll down a ways. Click out here and then I'll click back in again. And then find your beginning spot. Notice when I roll over the beginning spot, I get a little circle that shows up next to that cursor right there. When you see the circle, click on that and that then makes that a selection. Okay, now we can zoom out. There we go, and there's the top of the picture. We can now work in here and not worry about damaging this, this child. So back to our clone stamp tool. At this point, the brush is too small, so once again, we'll have to change that brush size. We bring that up. Let's try 65. I think 45 is better. There we go. Okay, 45 on the brush. Again, a soft brush. And once again, we're going to be copying from here, like that, matching the lines up carefully, and then just clone stamping. I'm only going to be going up about halfway on this. So working from one line down, and then that same line up, just about halfway in. and doing several passes on the clone stamp and that should keep things fairly clean. 
if I tried doing everything just from one pass, you'd find that your perspective begins going out very quickly. So you want to do this in just little segments. And again, the real trick here is to make sure that you match that line up very carefully. And it's an alt click right there. Get that line to match up. And there we go. And coming up towards the top now. And just keep on working in in little bits. And matching up that line each time. Okay, there's that edge over here. I went a little bit too far on that. So we can take that out there. I got a little bit off on the edge that time you saw that. So let's just undo that clone stamp tool. And I'll take us from this, then I'll fix that. Same thing here. Alt click. Line that up. Go about halfway up. Same thing. Alt click. And again, line that up carefully. And that should work out okay there. Now we can take care of this little bit. So I'll just click right there. Bring that right over that spot. A couple of taps, that just hides that. Almost done, very, very top of the picture here. Gets real tricky because there's really not a whole lot to work with at this point up there. And we'll just finish that off in just a second. But you can see that the approach here, it's just taking your time as you work in. If you take your time, then everything should be okay. Now we have more space down here than we have over here. So I'm going to try to clone stamp here. Now what may actually work is actually to take one of these lines and move this line up to that position. I think I'll do this line right down here. That gives me space above to clone from. And try to line that up and just take the whole thing clear across. That actually did not work. Our perspective was off by too much. In that case, kind of weird perspective up here. So let's spread the one right next to it. And that should be a better match. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and fit on screen, deselect. And there it is. There's a nice cleaned up picture. I'll just zoom in a bit on this. Zoom in a couple of steps. I think that looks pretty good. I just saw it's a straightforward process. It's just a matter of working little steps at a time and matching up your lines. Wherever you see lines or detail, match that up. And if you're working against an edge, like you had in here, make sure you do a very careful selection around that edge to make that work. So there's the original and there's the cleaned up version. Original and cleaned up. I think we did a pretty pretty fair job on that. Okay, there you go. That is cleaning up the background on a difficult surface. Thank you for watching this special Photoshop photography project video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you will get first notice of new project videos in the future. Just click on this link right here where it says subscribe here. You can get all 12 project videos in this series along with 26 special videos demonstrating the tools and techniques that I used in these projects by clicking on this link right down here. And then thank you again for watching this training video.